Hey, hey, it is time for Emerald Eats, where we highlight amazing food in our area. I gotta say, before we get started with this amazing food, in one of the trivia questions, I said that Ronald Wayne, the original co-founder of a Apple, had passed away. Uh -huh. He is, in fact, alive and well at 88 years old. Oh my God. So, and we what? wish him well. And, yeah, we do. I hope I hope he's rich because he sold that. He deserves it. Absolutely. He deserves it. I hope he's rich. Um, wish him all the best. He's probably just happy to be alive. He's, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a fan of the show, you know. So. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Okay, well, today we are joined by Chef Bobby Moore with Bees on Main and Barb War in Bellevue. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I love, I love hanging out with you guys. Yes, oh, we, we love to have you. you. <laughs> so spring has sprung, and not only does that open open up your patio for the restaurant, but also a new spring menu. Tell Absolutely. us a little bit about what we're gonna see. All right, so, you know, I took over Beast and Barmore, uh, started Barmore in uh, October. So we just kind of rode the menu for a little while, made yeah. a couple little changes so nobody got too upset with me. Well, <laughs> spring has sprung, and um, April uh, 10th and 11th, we're gonna do some changes to the menu. Don't worry, the chicken will stay on the menu, everybody. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna liven it up. We're gonna freshen it up. Uh, just about uh, what about a week ago, uh, halibut came in season, mm -hmm. um, and it's so beautiful. I love. I mean, I love halibut. I'm sure I'll be sick of it in about three months. <laughs> but, but have it now. Uh, it's here now, and it's beautiful, <laughs> and it's coming out of the uh, Pacific Northwest. Awesome. And I know you've got some spring vegetables in these dishes as well. Tell I me, do. what are we making today? So we're just gonna do like a little English pea um, spring uh, saute. I have some chipotle onions here. Ooh. Let's, let's do it like this. I seared the, uh, let's start with the halibut real quick. Okay. So I seared the halibut, um, and I sear it uh, pretty high heat um, to get that nice crust. Yeah. A lot of yes. people are always asking me, Bobby, how do you get the crust so perfectly? Well, what I do is I just, nice hard sear, and then I'll pop that into the oven, 500 degree oven, without flipping it. And oh. I'll do that for about four minutes. And then I'll pull it out of the oven, I'll flip it, and then I'll go another three minutes. And it usually works out just perfectly. Awesome. So would you say certain... that's the secret to sear it and then put it in the oven? Yes, that is the secret. In the oven, nice and hot, 450 to 500 degrees. Um, and just keep an eye on it so you don't, you know. Are there, are there certain pans that you can do that with or not do that with? Like, well, can you use a nonstick in the oven? Uh, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the the chef chef these I got at Lake Rosé. These are scan pans. I mean, I go through okay. a couple of these a year. And ah, they're, they're great. Okay. Know, I'm not. I'm not. You know, making any money off of that. But I <laughs> yeah. love them. I love them. Cool. Okay, hot pan. Right. Chipotle onions in there. Where do you get these onions? And do they come so, like that? No, they don't come like that. So what we do is um, we will. Um, just kind of uh, do a, a roast. We'll roast them in the oven, mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, quarter them, mm -hmm. and um, then they're all nice and ready. These are TV ready. Ooh, okay. thank you. I don't know if there's a TV ready section. <laughs> that would be <laughs> so nice. If you had a grocery store, there would be. Yes, absolutely. You know, you know with vegetables, uh, it, it, it's. I mean, if you want a lot of flavor out of your vegetables, is there anything we can do to kind of boost that flavor? I would say. Um, Onions always boost the flavor, mm -hmm. big time. I mean, I'm, we go through a lot of onions in my house. Um, and I would say, uh, take a chance. You know, like today I brought in this, uh, I got a spice mix right here that I made. Oh, beautiful. And I just went to um, Ujimaya, and I got like fried garlic, and I got uh, furikake, and I uh, mixed in some anato, yeah. uh, oh no, Aleppo pepper. Oh, very and nice. So, I mean, smell that. Oh, a little, so bit, fantastic. Little, bit of, little bit of seaweed in there. Yeah, mm, beautiful. But, um, so something to just a little flavor bomb, a little sure. umami yeah. action. Okay, now we're gonna throw in some carrots. Ooh, beautiful. These are little baby carrots that we just blanched and shocked at the restaurant over at Bison Maine. Yeah. Over in Bellevue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now while you're cooking, can I pour us some of this beautiful wine that yes, you brought? Yes. This is um, one of my favorite winemakers. Uh, his name is um, uh, Peter Davison, Davison, and um, it's Davison Winery. Okay. He used to make wine for FSD out in Woodenville, but now he's over in the Walla Walla. Um, and this is um, a Sauvignon Blanc. This is a 2021. You can find this on our list at the uh, restaurant. Beautiful. Oh, and you, you were I saying this you... little bag, too. That oh, yeah. <laughs> my, wife had, my wife had these made. So we have them at the, uh, at the bar. We have Barmore ones. We have Bison Main ones. And they're so great. Cute. I was just telling everybody, if you uh, get home, you don't have any wine chilled, you really need a glass of wine. Yeah. The day was rough. 
or he's <laughs> thirsty, um, just fill it up, put the bottle in there, and, and spin it a little bit, and you're, you're guaranteed some uh, Wonderful. Wine. Thank you. Wine. Chef Bobby, would you like some? Ooh. Yes, I would. Go, sir. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, oh, Cheers to spring. spring. Cheers. And beautiful changes to your menu. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Mm. I love Sauvignon Blanc. Fresh and crisp. Oh, yes. My favorite white wine it's by good far. good one. Yeah, really good. You know, that first couple sips, you're like, ooh, it's a little bit tart. And then you're like, oh, this is no, oh, yeah. yeah. good. And this will go great with what we're doing here. Yes. Also, um, I brought pancetta. We're going to leave it out today, but I brought pancetta. Um, but you can throw a little bit. I love pancetta with fish. Right. And that's another way to just kind of enhance some yeah. of the uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, you're a vegetarian, so I'm, uh, I'm uh, thinking of you thank today. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. We love the um, and then we're going to throw in some English peas, and it is pea season in full effect right now. It's good to know the different seasons for veggies. I don't yeah. always know, and I know we a lot of them are available year-round, so it's good to know those. All right, so we're going to try this soon here. We have about two minutes left. Yes. Right, yeah. So this is an English pea puree that we made. It's beautiful. <gasps> Thank you. Do a little bit of that. I need to do that at home. I know. I know. Pretty Pretty everything up. Smear. Yeah. <laughs> makes, makes it I call cool. it the dramatic swoosh. Yeah. Yeah. Dramatic <laughs> whoosh. I love it. Okay, I'm using the world's smallest spoon to do this. <laughs> I forgot my spoon. <laughs> Look, we make it work around here, okay? I went through all your kitchens. <laughs> there and are three kitchens. A little veg. Uh, <laughs> I'm just doing a little veggie one for you, Carl, right Thank there. Thank you. Right. Uh, oh. Let's see. All right, and then we have the halibut. Voila. Wow. And Look at that presentation. I, uh, I always like a little bit of fresh basil for things like oh, this. Oh, yeah. Just to freshen basil. it up. So do we like took our knife uh, class, and that still makes me nervous. I know, I still get all pro. scared. <laughs> we'll do a little chiffonade on that, and we're gonna throw in some, some a fresh tomato. Cherry tomato for you. Yes. And by the way, the, the fresh, the fresh like basil is always better than the stuff out of this. Oh, so don't much. even buy that. What are you, what are you yeah, talking don't about? Don't even buy that. <laughs> little lemon Beautiful. zest. Yeah, yes. a little lemon zest just to freshen that up. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then... It smells so good. All right, I'm going to do it on this one. Okay. But we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh beautiful. Gosh. Gorgeous cool? presentation. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. All right. right. BMAC, this one's gonna, you and me. Thank you. All right, we're going to share okay. that. Here you go. Can you got a fork? fork? This is you. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Mm. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. I'm excited for this. Cheers. 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 Come see me. It's uh, actually Seattle Cocktail Week this week mm -hmm. also. We started on the 26th. You doing any cool um, cocktails? Yeah, we've got you know radio mm. radio flyer, um, a lot of different cocktails on the menu. Uh, yeah, come wow. see us. I mm. love this. Delicious. The onions really does bring yeah, out the flavor of all the other veggies. This is so good. For Amazing. Sure. You always bring it. You I bring the you. heat. You bring you. it all. So delicious, Chef Bobby. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, we'll see you again soon. And we've got more info on Bison Maine and Barmore up on our website, Fox13Seattle.com/Studio13Live. Don't forget.